This is the new Cervelo Caledonia 5. It gets its name from that road right over there. It's a road that, mm, it's not that great looking. You wouldn't really ride it unless you had to. So why did Cervelo name its new bike after a very humble, let's say, road? Well, Cervelo's office is up to the north and is right off of Caledonia. Its employees tear down this street in their hotly contested group rides in the final run-in to the finish at the office and they want bragging rights and they face terrible roads and maybe this bike could have helped them, you know. It's on bumpy surfaces like these, not just in Toronto, but in Europe, that this bike is meant to perform. For this Caledonia, Cervelo looked back to 2011. That year, Johan van Sumeren won Paris-Roubaix on the Cervelo R3 Mud. Cervelo was also hearing from current pros on Team Sunweb that the latest R3 is a bit too skittish for the cobbled sectors. So, when Cervelo went to design the new bike, it looked to lengthen the wheelbase and increase the trail numbers so the bike would behave a little better on, you know, Carrefour de Labra and also the potholes up here on Caledonia. The company also took what it learned from the development of the Aspero, that's its gravel bike that came out last year. So it looked a lot to carbon layup and deploying carbon in specific ways to manage vibrations and to give you, the rider, just a little more comfort out on the road. This bike is meant for performing at the highest level, at the classics, but it can do a lot more than that. It comes with a kit that not only allows you to attach a head unit, but it also allows you to run fenders, which will extend your season and extend your rides. There's clearance for tires as wide as 34 millimeters, or 31 millimeters if you have those fenders on. And it's also ready to go for, you know, various flavors of gravel and even some light bike packing. I've had a few rides on the Caledonia 5. Previously, I'd been riding more traditional climbers bikes. In comparison, the Caledonia is definitely more stable and more planted. The steering on the Caledonia isn't as, say, razor sharp as a traditional road racer, but you're still gonna make that corner with confidence. The wheels on the Caledonia are the Zip 303S. They've got Vittoria Corsa tires on them. They're 28C, but they actually measure 29 millimeters wide. I love that Cervelo didn't name this bike Carrefour de Labra or Aremberg or some other Paris-Roubaix cobbled sector, but instead it looked outside its window at its headquarters and named it after the humble and kind of crummy road that ran nearby. We all have a Caledonia that we ride, or the equivalent, and why not look to your own backyard to start building your own little myths? It's too bad though that Cervelo is only now coming out with a bike that looks at its heritage and its own geography. It's in the process of moving to California. So this will be the last bike wholly designed here in Canada. With the Caledonia name, Cervelo wanted to pay homage to the place and to the roads where it came from.